Why do coins have ridges? The anti-cheating design from the 1600s. Pick up a coin and run your thumb along the edge. Feel those tiny grooves. They're not just for decoration. They were a centuries-old defense against cheating. To understand why, we need to go back to the 1600s, when coins were made of real gold and silver. Back then, a coin's value depended on its weight. The heavier the coin, the more precious metal it contained. And that made people greedy. Clever tricksters came up with a scam called coin clipping. They'd shave off tiny bits of gold or silver from the edges of coins, melt the shavings, and sell the metal for profit. Each clipping was small, almost invisible. But over time, it added up to real money. The coins still looked fine, but they were lighter and worth less. The economy started to suffer. Merchants didn't trust coins anymore, and counterfeiters thrived. Something had to change. Enter Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, the apple guy. In the late 1600s, he became the master of the royal mint in England. He introduced a genius solution. Engraved ridges around coin edges. Those grooves made it impossible to shave off metal without being noticed. If someone tried to clip the edges, the smooth mark would expose the tampering instantly. Newton's simple design restored trust in money and helped save Britain's currency system. Today, coins aren't made of gold or silver anymore. They are mostly alloys of cheap metals. But the ridges stayed. Why? Because they make coins easier to recognize by touch, help blind people distinguish denominations, and allow vending machines to detect counterfeits through texture and reflection. So, those tiny ridges you see, they're more than just texture. They're history you can feel. A relic of an era when every groove stood God against greed. Next time you hold a coin, remember, you're touching a 400-year-old innovation that once saved economies from collapse. A brilliant reminder that even the smallest design can change the course of history.